The scandal with the Russian authorities' admissions of deliberately utilizing a significant portion of Russians has reached the international level. The British publication The Times drew attention to the statements of the Russian Duma deputy Alexander Borodai about soldiers Russia does not need who are dying in meat assaults. Putin's ally boasts that his troops are meat, the publication writes. A Russian MP boasted that Moscow uses Russian soldiers who had no social value to trick Ukraine into sacrificing young, strong, healthy soldiers in battle. Alexander Borodai, a lawmaker from Putin's ruling party, said men fighting for Russia in the war with Ukraine as irregulars were seen in Moscow as expendable or spare men, calling them meat that needed to be ground up in battle. There are many Russian irregular units operating in Ukraine, also known as volunteer battalions or brigades, whose fighters usually sign short-term military contracts with the defense ministry, regional authorities or state-owned companies. Salaries are around 250,000 rubles a month, much higher than the average salary in Russia. Borodai himself commands one of these units. From the point of view of the people in suits, these people do not represent much social value. They are usually older, right? They are not productive members of society, says Borodai, who previously headed the so-called DPR. They are bought like meat, he added. Borodai said that the task of these irregular units is to wear down the enemy forces as much as possible, while the rest of the forces in the rear are preparing for the main offensive. Just wear them down, you understand? No one expects any stunning or even small victory from these forces. These are simply human resources that are being spent. Borodai later confirmed the authenticity of the recording. In an interview with Russian television channel RTVI, he said his comments about spare people were rather harsh, but true. However, he said that as a commander of an irregular unit, he also considered himself expendable. I don't exclude myself from this circle, he said. The ultra-nationalist media outlet Sagrad said Borodai's comments reflected the reality of the average Russian who has few prospects in peacetime. He can buy a little bit of a good life for his family only by selling his own and only life. The outlet wrote, Let us recall that this is not the first time that Russia has spoken disparagingly about its own army's soldiers. As reported earlier, propagandist Vladimir Solovyov complained that schools are raising cannon fodder rather than warriors. At least 25 people were injured following a Russian strike in Kharkiv in the early hours of Friday morning. According to local officials, preliminary inspections showed it was a KAB-guided aerial bomb that hit a 12-story apartment building, causing damage. Five people were hospitalized, and the search operation is still underway, according to the city's mayor Iyer Terakov. The State Emergency Service of Ukraine shared a video showing of rescuers at the site, evacuating local residents. Сьогодні росіяни черговий раз атакували цивільну забудову. Влучання маємо в другий поверх 12 поверхівки. Житлова забудова. Тут люди в той час спали. О 3.30 росіяни атакували. Маємо інформацію попередньо. Це керована авіабомба ФАБ. Маємо інформацію, що це 500 кілограмова бомба з УМБК. Dozens of Russian drones targeted the Ukrainian capital Kyiv in a nighttime attack that lasted eight hours, authorities said Thursday, 
as Russia kept up its relentless pounding of Ukraine after almost 1,000 days of war. Russian forces fired lone drones and swarms of drones that entered Ukrainian airspace from various directions and at a variety of altitudes, officials said, in an apparent attempt to stretch air defense systems and unnerve city residents. Ukrainian air defenses neutralized three dozen drones but falling debris caused damage to a hospital and residential and office buildings in the capital, local authorities said, including a blaze on the 33rd floor of an apartment building. At least two people were reported injured. Drone attacks on Kiev have recently been occurring almost daily, with the nighttime explosions and the continuous buzzing sound of drones keeping the city on edge. Russia is currently deploying about 10 times more Iranian-made Shahid drones than it was this time last year, Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky said earlier this week.